So you've heard of financing a car, maybe even furniture, but what about financing a dog? Certain pet stores in Texas are offering payment plans. Maybe it's not a surprise for high-priced puppies. And when some buyers claim they get duped by misleading contracts, they call our Alana Audler to investigate. Alana? Guys, customers say they fell in love with these dogs, only realizing how much they owed after it was too late. Marshall, come on, let's go. He was the dog Luis Ortega always wanted but could never afford. A purebred French bulldog. Out of reach until Ortega saw these. Ads for puppies that could be financed with as little as zero down. All Ortega needed to do was drive to the Pets R Us near Houston, a store that offers financing for purebred dogs. They said that uh, they had plenty of the $2,500 dogs and that I could go down there and get one of them. But when he arrived, a salesperson said those cheaper dogs weren't available. And the price for Marshall, $5,500. I was disappointed. I was sad. I had drove eight hours and it just, you know, felt, it felt pretty bad. That's when Pets R Us offered a solution. Financing through one of several out-of-state companies. An employee approved his girlfriend online immediately. They didn't give us any paperwork. They just gave us a number to call. But she only qualified for half the cost. So Pets R Us let Ortega's ex wife finance the other half. <clears throat> but a later email revealed a staggering cost an APR of 151%, meaning the amount for half of Marshall's price could end up costing more than $8,000. That's a good point. We found multiple customers who filed complaints with the attorney general, claiming they were misled, blindsided by high rates and fees. Pets R Us uses three outside finance companies, Lending USA, My Pet Funding, and Easy Pay Finance, each promising fast and easy approvals done online. In most cases, all you need is a cell phone, an email address, a bank account, and a monthly income of at least $1,000. For Lending USA, loan applicants provide financial information like your income, mortgage, employment status, and bank numbers. My Pet Funding offers closed end leases, proclaiming on their website, no credit, no problem. A calculator shows your potential monthly payment and your buyout options. Over the phone, a representative with Easy Pay Finance says interest rates depend on credit history, with rates ranging between 29 and 200 percent. Depending on the finance company, merchants like Pets R Us pay a 2.99 to 5 percent fee on every contract. But beyond that, it's unclear how much these companies actually profit off pet purchases. My Pet Funding and Lending USA never answered our questions. We also asked whether the terms of these contracts are clear enough. Only a spokesperson from Easy Pay responded, writing, Easy Pay has easy to read contracts and a simple application process, which allows the customer to see their APR in terms in plain language up to three times before the customer agrees to sign. Hi. How are you? So we visited the store in Garland to see how the process works. Listen, as an employee says dogs start at $6,500. You just apply and then you pay monthly and then we offer two companies that do zero down. I was told no matter what, the dog would not be repossessed. You know, lost my job or something or like I couldn't make the payment anymore. What would happen? Um, I would simply just mess up your credit. I call it bait and switch. Consumer attorney Daniel Blumberg says while these agreements are legal, it's misleading to not disclose costs. I would call it a deceptive trade practice. I would call it unconscionable. Owner Lucinda Aguilar declined an interview. Instead, she sent us an email saying customers are not misled and that the payment is between the customer and the finance company. Marshall Ortega says at the time he was blinded with excitement, but now admits. He should have looked closer at what they were signing. It's easy to manipulate somebody with a puppy. You can read the owner's entire response on our website, cbsdfw.com. Bills that would ban pet leasing have already been filed by two lawmakers, including a Houston representative who says her bill was inspired by this very store, Pets R Us. But Doug Gilma, we can't stress enough, anytime you're signing one of these agreements, you got to read the fine print. Buyer beware. You have to know what you're getting into. Yeah, those yeah. two words you just said. Buyer beware. Thanks. Thank you, Alana. Mm -hmm.